Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. The recent discovery of a trio of holes in Siberia has scientists puzzled, conspiracy theorists excited, and the rest of us taking a new look at the stability of the ground beneath our feet. The surface of the Earth is riddled with holes, some on land, some underwater, and some that act as a doorway to an entirely different world. Number 10. Tautona Mine this gold mine in South Africa is the second deepest man-made hole in the world, and it's 2.4 miles deep. Since its construction, two secondary shafts have been added, bringing the mine to its current depth. The mine today has some 800 kilometers of tunnels and employs some 5,600 miners. It is an extremely dangerous environment, with five workers losing their lives in 2007. The mine is so deep that the temperatures in the mine can raise to dangerous levels. Air conditioning equipment is used to cool the mine from 55 degrees Celsius down to a more tolerable 28 degrees Celsius. The rock face temperature currently reaches 60 degrees Celsius. The journey to the rock face can take one hour from surface level. Number 9. Deepest Hole in Antarctica After nearly three days of round-the-clock drilling in temperatures as cold as minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, a team of scientists has drilled the deepest hole ever seen in western Antarctica. On January 8, 2019, a British Antarctic survey team called Beamish broke through West Antarctica's Rutford Ice Stream, reaching a depth of 2,152 meters, 7,060 feet deep. The scientists used a high-pressure hose to shoot 194-degree Fahrenheit water at the ice, thereby boring a hole down to the sediment below. It's the deepest hole ever drilled in the area. The team pulled up sediment samples to analyze and also took measurements of how much the ice's shape has changed, as well as the temperature and water pressure at those depths. The challenge of drilling in regions like this one, where temperatures hover around minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit, is that the hole constantly refreezes. There is a limited time window of about 24 hours where the hole is large enough to deploy instruments before the hole refreezes again. Number 8. Deddy Lovo Hole a giant sinkhole, as deep as a multi-story building, opened up in Russia, swallowing a private vegetable garden. The sinkhole opened up in the Russian village of Dedilovo, near the city of Tula. The sinkhole is 49 feet in diameter and 98 feet deep. A video shows the giant hole in the middle of patches of green next to a few buildings. No one was reported injured due to the sinkhole, and this is not the first time sinkholes opened up in Russia. Recently, three mysterious giant craters that appeared suddenly in northern Siberia could actually be a previously unseen type of sinkhole, experts have said. Explanations for the three enormous cavities, one of which was up to 300 feet, 70 meters deep, have included everything from meteorites to aliens, with some conspiracy theorists suggesting they could be connected to fracking. Number 7. Diavik Diamond Mine one of the newer holes on the list, the Diavik Diamond Mine, opened in 2003 and has reached deeper than 600 feet in the Canadian Arctic. Located on the East Island in Lac de Gras, northeast of Yellowknife, the mine is accessible only by plane. There's a gravel runway big enough for a Boeing 737 and an ice road, and that's only if the weather is good enough. Since mining operations began in 2003, it has produced over 100 million carats of diamonds. Diavik is now expected to operate through 2024. Upon closure, the equipment, buildings, and infrastructure will be removed, and the land returned as closely as possible to its original condition. Number 6. Mpaning Gold Mine Mpaning Gold Mine stretches 2.5 miles below the Earth's surface, making it the world's deepest man-made hole, and its chambers and passages are connected by 236 miles of tunnels just 14 miles short of London's underground network. Miners typically work at an average depth of between 2.8 kilometers to 3.4 kilometers below the surface, extracting gold from ore with grades of over 8 grams per ton, making the mine one of the most lucrative in the world. Nearing the center of the Earth, temperatures reach as high as 140 degrees Fahrenheit inside Mpane. To combat this and keep the heat from literally cooking workers, the company pumps an ice slurry mixed with salt down from the surface, using fans to blow air over the ice, creating its own internal weather system inside the mine. Ever heard of Desulfuratus audaxviator? Well, it's a monotypic bacterium that has only been found in water samples obtained underground in the Mponing gold mine, 
and it's one of the few organisms known to man that doesn't require sunlight for nourishment. Number 5. Guatemala Sinkhole It was like something out of M. Night Shyamalan's signs. A gaping, perfectly circular sinkhole appeared in Guatemala City, devouring a three-story building and killing at least 15 people in the process. The gargantuan cavity appears to be about 60 feet wide and 30 stories deep, according to National Geographic. If it wasn't caused by aliens, how did the sinkhole form? Where did its insides go? And why the heck is it so round? Guatemala City is built on weak materials such as volcano pumice, however, and as such, its sinkholes open extraordinarily quickly, leaving little time for escape. Number 4. The Berkeley Pit The Berkeley Pit is a former open-pit copper mine in Butte, Montana, and now one of the only places in the world where you can pay to see toxic waste. The sheer scale of the site is something to behold. In aerial photos, it appears simply as a huge black splotch. The pit is one mile long by half a mile wide and over 1,780 feet deep, 1,000 of which are filled with acidic water with high concentrations of heavy metals and toxic chemicals. The iron-rich water near the surface is reddish, yielding to a vibrant lime-green hue, not far from below the surface, where the copper concentrations are higher. Over the active lifespan of the mine, approximately 320 million tons of ore and over 700 million tons of waste rock were mined from the pit. In other words, it produced enough copper to pave a four-lane highway two inches thick from Chicago to New York with enough left over to keep going to the tip of Long Island. Number 3. Kola Super Deep Borehole What's the deepest hole ever dug? Russia's Kola Super Deep Borehole was created by the Soviets in the name of science so they could learn more about what's really under our feet and dig to depths unknown. The project to drill into the Earth's surface began near Murmansk in the 1970s, when Soviet scientists wanted to learn more about the Earth's crust. Over two decades, they managed to dig more than 7.5 miles down into the Earth. However, in 1992, they had to stop drilling because the temperature was around 180 degrees Celsius, which is far hotter than the scientists predicted it would be. Experts still need to figure out a way to overcome this temperature issue if they want to keep drilling and not destroy all of their equipment in the process. All this drilling wasn't for nothing, though, as some scientific discoveries were made. The researchers found out that there is water at 12 kilometers into the Earth's crust, despite this previously being thought to be impossible. They also found 24 new types of long-dead single-celled organisms and gained access to rocks that were 2.7 billion years old. Locals in the area say that the hole is so deep, you can hear the screams of people being tortured in hell, hence its nickname being the Well to Hell. Number 2. Krubera Cave With a staggering depth of 2,197 meters, 7,208 feet, Krubera Cave is the deepest known cave in the world. To put that in perspective, imagine six and a half Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other underground. Considered the Everest of Caves, the Vast Cavern, also known as Veronia or Veronia Cave, is located in the Arabica Massif. Since its discovery in 1960, explorers and scientists have attempted to descend deeper and deeper into the cave, thus setting new records each time. Photos of expeditions over the years reveal an enormous subterranean wonder. In fact, the cave looks like it was taken straight from Journey to the center of the Earth, with a freezing underground waterfall entire areas filled with water, and tunnels so narrow it's nearly impossible to squeeze through, the Krubera Cave is an awe-inspiring labyrinth of countless pits and chasms, descending deep into the darkness. Number 1. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory The Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory covers one cubic kilometer near the South Pole. The instrument covers a square kilometer of the surface and extends down to 4,920 feet, 1,500 meters deep. It is the first gigaton neutrino detector ever built. While photographs of Ice Cube often show a building sitting on the snowy surface, the real work is done below. The multi-purpose experiment includes a surface array, ice top, an array of 81 stations that sit above the strings. Ice top serves as a collaboration detector for Ice Cube, as well as detecting air showers from primary cosmic rays and their flux and composition. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, 
write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.